Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another 10 by 10 math puzzle game. And this is the second day of three days of live streaming that we've set up to play this game with people on Twitch. And what we're about to do is to tackle this puzzle uh, together, right? Just to let you know, Speedy Gonzalez wise, what the rules of this game are. There's a, this is a 10 by 10 grid. There's 100 squares, and we're trying to fill up all 100 squares, starting with the number one, going to 100, right? And there's two main types of move, movements that we have. Okay, let's assume through the chat, through the live stream, we wanna put number one, we're gonna start with number one, and we're trying to get to 100, right? You get 100 done, you've filled up the square, you've done phenomenal. So far, we've gotten 91, 92, and 94. We've played this game three times during these live streams so far. This is number four that we're doing, okay? But let's assume we wanna start number one with F6. So we go to F and we go to six and we put number one here, okay? Now there's two main types of movements. You could go vertically or horizontally. And if you go vertically or horizontally, you gotta be three squares away from number one, or you could go diagonally, either this way or this way, right? And if you go diagonally, you gotta be two squares away from number one. So each, for this one anyway, number one has eight different places that you could put number two, okay? And then once you put down your number two, you do the same thing. You got those movements and you can make all those movements as long as you're not going off grid or try to occupy another square that's already occupied, right? Aside from that, the strategy that we're gonna use for this game, because yesterday's stream that we did, yesterday's game we played, what we decided to do was start off from the outside and go in, right? So we went around and around and around and try to you know, fill up the outside first and then try to end with being on the inside. We got to 91 on that one. With this strategy, what we wanna do is break this grid into four quadrants. And we've decided on chat, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this thing to four quadrants. So we're gonna take five rows here and five columns and consider that to be a quadrant, try to fill this up or one of the other quadrants and then move on to the other quadrant, next quadrant, next quadrant, next quadrant, okay? Aside from that, that's the game that we're playing. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go on chat and we're gonna try to figure out where we're gonna start, which quadrant we're gonna start. And what I've done is, I've went and bought two other types of color tape so we can visually actually break this thing down into quadrants. That way it makes it easier for us to do it instead of trying to guess to make sure we're in, we haven't gone past our quadrant. So my question to the live stream, I guess is, which color tape should we use? Blue or the white to break it down? And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna check to see if there's any instructions, if any preferences of where to start. Visuals, blue, we go with blue, okay. So what I'm gonna do is take this guy. Okay. That way blue stands out to us. Okay, someone's mentioning we should start at C1. Blue, we have three blues. Hey, Zare, how are you doing? Three blue choices and one white. <laughs> okay, let's try the blue out. Let me find the, uh, there it is. Take a look. Nice, okay. Let me put the blue on here. That way we know where our quadrants are and Spot of T has already said we start with C1. So we're gonna start there, okay. So we wanna break this, this is 10 rows, we're gonna take it to five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we're putting a line through here. So let's go here. A 
has colored flush. Let's make this nice too. the vertical too, right? So let's do the vertical. One, two, three, four, five. So we're putting a line right through there. start with C1. C1, not C10. Oh, it's a nice blue as well. Yeah, it is a nice blue. Okay, C1, lovely indigo. Ah, oh, it's always called indigo. So C1, we're starting off here. Okay. Let me use a different. That one's sticking out too long. It's lost his stickiness. Is that a band? I'm assuming we need to finish near the inside edges so we can move into the next quadrant afterwards. Yeah, we tried this on the last stream. Uh, we did last year, last not last stream, but last year we did a live stream set as well. And we played the quadrant. The beauty of it is we gotta be at least in the middle here to be able to pop out, right? Because this one we can pop out there, we can pop out here. We can't finish here, okay? Here we can pop out three ways. Here we can pop out two ways, right? C1 is on the bottom. Oh, C1 is on the bottom. That's right. C1 is on the bottom. That was C10. I always mix it up. C1. <laughs> Thanks for the correction, gang. Let's check it out. No, C1 is on the bottom. No, just kidding. Let's see what have we got. You should do the whole grid in blue next time. Really? Okay. And the next live streams, maybe we do it all in blue. Oh, got me. Yeah, that would look nice. Okay, we do. So next movement is A3. Spot a T. A3. Here's number two. So we're going diagonally, two spaces. Number two, where are we going after that? We don't want to go off grid, off the quadrant. So we can go here, or we can go here. Nail that, nail that, come out. C5, let's do it. So C5, C5, we do it here. Number three. Next move. Ideally, we want to be able to nail the corners this side first, I think. C5, E3. Come out. E3, E3. Here's number four. From there, we only have this to play if we don't want to go off the quadrant. So we got no choice. Go here. This is number five. Only reached 1825. That's for sorry for the cast. AD for five times five. I only reached 25. VP. I'm not sure what that means. But I think we should take this out if we can. Six, seven, eight. What do you say? Six, seven, eight. Confirmation. Seems good. Seems good, man. We do. Six, seven, eight. So if we're gonna stay in the quadrant, we got nine and we got nine. Let 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I don't even know if I'm recounting stuff. This one, we have to come in from that, going from that to here to out. So I'm gonna say in D4 and then C. So we got eight. D4, right? Or C2. Or C2. We got two people saying D4. So what are the rules? The rules are simple. If you're at a number, horizontally or vertically, you have to be three squares away from that number. Diagonally, you have to be two squares away from the number. There's 100 squares, 10 by 10 grid. We're trying to go from number one to 100. Finish it off. It's like chess once says. <laughs> nice. Beat me to it this time. <laughs> People have set up a little bot where they do a little command where it gives the explanation of the game. And here's, uh, by the way, for someone coming in new, here's a link to the playlist. Uh, where we have a whole bunch of videos on this and in the description of the playlist there's a post that takes you there's a link to a post that takes you to the rules of the game and everything we've archived regarding this game thought that might become useful nice it does Casey fantastic thank you for that we have two people wanting to go here number nine if we want to stay within we can't go there we can't go there we don't want to go out so here's number ten From there, we've got two choices. One here. If we take this down, we could take that, we could take this, we could take that, we could take this, we could take this, we could take that. Should we do? E2, let's see, E2. E2 it is, that's the number 11. Oh, I like this one, number 12. We could take that, but I think this is nice. Number 12, number 13, number 14. Does that sound good? B5, let's see. B5, where are we? C4, here. Yeah, C4, and then A2, yeah, and then D, D2. Oh, you want to go over here. D2. Okay, ignore me. Spot of T. <laughs> Fun game, but someone's going to give some inaccurate advice down the line. For sure. For sure. But we'll see. Maybe if we get enough people playing real life we should keep track of at some point look at the data to see if there's more people playing is there a more probability of getting to a higher number or with less people playing the collective working together or individual right it has to be perfect changing my mind too often that's okay part of the game so if we go here 14 we got 15 16 17 oh man then we'll get kicked out i don't think we want to go there 14 15 16 17 we're going to get kicked out do we have another choice from there 14 15 16 17 18 19 we could do that before so wait a second where is before before so 13, so we got here. Okay, let's do this. B4, B4, E4, B4. So that's 15, 16, E1, 17, 18. Cool, let's do it. 15, 16, 17, 18. 
From there, we only got one choice. 19. D3, yeah. And then B5. Oh, where were we? 19. B5, 20. And then if we're going to stay within the grid, this is it. 21. So 20, 21, 22. Oh, we've messed up a little bit. 22. Because this one only has one in. That means that has to be 100. A5. Yeah, if we go there. And then A6 or whatever, D5. So 23 and 24, right? So we have a problem. 24 out of 25 is, is not messed up. No, it's not. It's pretty good. But we have a problem. There's only one in here. So that has to be 100. That means that has to be 99. So we're going to have to make sure we, that's our fourth quadrant we deal with, and that one's got to be 99 for us to get to here. Let's see, one mistake most likely. Yeah, close but wrong. It is, it is wrong. One mistake most likely, then go up and work your way around to end on C2. Yeah, that's a serious feat to do. If we plan good, we can come back as 100 spot on. What if we count backwards? Well, it's the same thing as counting forwards. Hello, X. <laughs> right? If we go to top left quadrant and work our way clockwise, top left quadrant. So we're here right now. Should we leave this one? and hope we're going to get to this one with 99. Let's do it. 24 out of 25 is not bad. So where did we start? We started here. Should we take a look at this one more time? So if we take 24, 23 down, 22 down, so let's do this. 24 down, 23 down, 21 down, or 22 down, 21 down, how far do we need to go? Where's 20? 20, 19, 18. Wow, we got to go back far. 15, 16. So 16, 17 would have brought us here. Should we give it a go? Spot on. Is there another way? No. The odds are it's unlikely you will end up with 99 perfectly where you want it. Yeah, I agree with. This... This game melts my brain. <laughs> I just wanted to get the re retract. Let's try it out. Let's let's do a little change. So we got twenty one. Let's go twenty two. Let's go nineteen. Or sorry, twenty. Let's go nineteen. Let's take down eighteen. Let's take down seventeen and hit this up. See what what we can do. Seventeen. The kicker is we have to go off the grid now, right? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. If we work our way around to the other quadrants, we can make this one be empty, right? That way there is one, two, three things coming in that might be better if we get a good uh, standard for other three quadrants we end up to 96 which is best as far as I can yeah if we're only able to miss one uh, in each one then we're at 96 which is not a bad score not a loss game but a development I guess yeah it is an improvement but if we do it this way and bypass our rules and say hey listen 
we messed up previously somewhere and we do this 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 we could do 24 25 hold on 23 24 we could do this one 24 25 that way at least the empty spots in this quadrant are closer in what do you guys think 100 is the only way we can stop 100 is the only way we can stop maybe we shouldn't start in a corner i think maybe yeah i think we should have probably started in the corner those are the hardest ones to get in the corners right they have less outs better strategy decent okay we go with this one so we're sacrificing three spots outside of our quadrant to be able to move the empty spot closer so we can nail it so ideally we want to fill this up right so if we go 24 25 we want to leave the any empty squares towards the center instead of the outside 25 how do we do how do we nail one of these guys 25 26 we want to get to here here no here or here to be able to fill this in and get out right we got to the 99 last year we started it was good might help down the line yeah i think it's gonna help down the line we need to put it to finish it oh no sorry hey chicho hello blueberry how are you doing so we're trying to our purpose right now is to knock this guy out and what comes in this this guy comes in here and this guy comes in here so we need to go in for one of these and then come out so how do we get to one of these guys we could go 26 26 27 no how do we do this 26 27 20 oh man we wanted this do you guys see it chicho just stopping by to watch the game and say hello hello scribble wobbles how you doing i have found your channel recently and your ideas and content are wonderful thanks for helping me get sleepy my pleasure man my pleasure or sister brother or sister of course right yeah those four quadrants mislead your attentions the four four grid in the middle is the easiest then eight eight then 16 16 is easiest after that should probably work from the outside squares first yeah i think so okay so we're here we're going to work on this quadrant because we're going to nail this guy so let's just go in let's do this let's nail the corners first if we can so here's 26 let's see where we can go 26 26 five and four lines from the center is likely the best okay 26 27 let's do this 28 29 let's do this see if we can do it 26 27 28 29 and then what do we got 29 30 here we go here's 30 31 32 33 okay cool 
30, 31, 32, 33. Might as well nail this guy. 34. Cool. 34. Okay. We got one quadrant done. We were able to get one quadrant done with 34 numbers. That means we had five numbers that we had to use up in the other quadrants. 34. Let's go back in here. Our only choice is this one to go back in here. So here's 35. 35. So what we want to do now is try to nail these guys, right? Because they don't have any outs. So we want to hit everything here first. Yeah, I think so. So let's try it out. So we're at 35. Let's go 36. If anybody wants to correct any of these movements, please post it. It's getting tricky working in quadrants. 36. Here we go. 37. 38. 39. And our only out is this. 40. Ah, we've got some movements. So let me put these down. 37. 38. 39. And 40. Let's see if people agree on that. A9, D9, A9, D9, yeah, D6, nice, C8, D6, oh, you want this, wait a second, oh, wait a second, a6 oh a6 oh from but, but there we come here and then you go there that's what you want and then nail that oh we're all we're there all in the same way so we nail this okay cool let's go we did it right so 41 41 this one we need to hit so these are the two ends. So we can go 42, 43, 44, 45. Cool. Right? Oh, that leaves us in a jam. If we go boom, here, here, here. No, no, it doesn't leave us in a jam. That's good, yeah? A7, yes. A7. Oh yeah, we can go in here right now. Nice. What am I thinking? Thank you for that. Yep. Good stuff. 42. Cool. Let's do that. Better. 43. Is that what we should do? Let's see. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Yeah. 43. 44. 4, 45, and 46, right? So 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Nice. How's that look? I don't know. It looks pretty good so far. Nice. Cool. So we're at 45, 46, 47 for sure. And then we've got to kick out again, right? So here's 47. But we have to kick out. Or, so 46, 47. We can't reach any of those. So we could go here, that's not going to work. 47, 48, 49, 50, and we're going to kick out again. 51, hmm. 
47, 48, 49, that doesn't get us there, 48, 49, what do you guys say, where do we go, C9 is locked up, as far as I see, really, C9, no, it's got two in, we can come in from there, and we can come in from there, so if we try to take C9 out, we want to get to here, right? E7, C7, E7, yeah, E7, C7, on our last game, 92, the way we can save it, E7, C7, let's check it out, E7, yeah. C7 is already taken out. Not the next one. The way we can save it. Yeah. So what do we got? 47. Where do we go from 47? G7. Okay. G7 it is. Here's G7. 48. So what we want to do Oh, we could do this. Watch this. Oh, someone's mentioning it. I9. Yeah, I just saw it as well. I9. I'm assuming F9 and C9, right? F8. I nine. Okay, I'm assuming it's supposed to be this here, 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 here. We kick out. So let's see. Forty nine. Fifty. Fifty one. 52 oh so we're in a jam this guy only has one in fifty one is c nine yeah e seven yeah fifty two I mean f nine yes sorry <laughs> okay box <laughs> I think we got the same deal we got a problem though C only has one in. How far back would we have to go to correct that? What comes in here? 31 comes in here. And 35 comes in here. And 29. Wow, we've got to go back really far to be able to correct for that. So this would have to be our 99. So if we can kick in here, leave that one open that would have to be 99 pop in here get that done come up here and hope to get 99 here to nail that oh man i feel like i'm thinking too hard <laughs> i like it i think so i think that's what we got to do 52 53 53 should we kick down right now and go down here and deal with those later 53 should we try to nail this guy 53 54 54 55 56 57 we're dead 53 54 55 53 What are you doing? <laughs> fun. We're fun. H10. F8. H10. Okay, H10. There we go. F8. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, that's good. 
So 54, 55, 56, let's kick out, 57, so 55, 53, 54, 55, 56, 56, 57, and let's kick out, let's nail J10, yeah? Once solved, the secret of the universe are revealed <laughs> to the cult of Chicho. D10, D10, yeah, and then G10, yeah, we're a cult. I don't think we're officially a definition of a cult because we're very open. I think I looked this up a long time ago. The definition of a cult is you keep things secret. As you know, I like sharing as much as we can right so the anti chicho cult anti cult chicho i don't know <laughs> not everyone needed to know that j10 yeah j10 seems great 58 that comes in here that comes in here that comes in let's leave those open 59 right and let's kick down. Let's take care of that quadrant. We gotta end there. Chicho anti cult. <laughs> this is a very secret thing, though. <laughs> let's kick down. Let's try to take care of this quadrant because we know we gotta have ninety nine here. So we know we gotta be ending there. So we can take that with one hundred. Let's kick down. Let's go straight down. Take care of the corners. Take care of the corners. So fifty eight. 59, 60, 61. Cool. Let's do. Here's another corner we can take care of. 61, 62, 63. So we got this one taken care of. 63. 62, 63. Let's check it out. Should we try to go back? For 100 as a different approach as c1 as 100 yeah once we do halfway this way we could do that but the options just open up there's so many pathways this is 100 that's 99 and 98 will have to be either here here or here we have three choices left open for 98 which is really good for us right now that's a lot of options for us so i think we we're trying to shoot for um, at least have one of these open i think once we get back into here and start working a little bit we'll see what the pathways are i think once we get to this quadrant then we can work our way back to a certain degree okay as for here 62 or 63 we can do this 64 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, this one, this one that goes in that comes in from this so let's fill up the numbers to see where we're at uh i10 seems best for that approach as we fill in the top line for 98 surely that would be the same but with descending numbers rather than ascending yeah in large part spot of t but i think one thing it does once you do a little shift change instead of looking at the pathways going in you can look at the pathways going out that's one way to try to solve problems. Instead of looking at it from this perspective, look at it from that perspective, all of a sudden things clear up a little bit. Uh, it does work, it does work. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. I'm concerned about this one. I wanna get this one, 69. 70, 71, 
And it's this one we need to get in there and then pull out. 69. 69, 70, 71, 72. Hmm. F4. So where are we? 68? Is that where we are? Oh no, 69. Hmm, we can't go to F4 from 69. F7. Oh, F7. Here, and then back down. Oh yeah, let's do that. We can nail this. Uh oh is that a dead end that would be a dead end if we go up come down go there we got no movement so we're gonna nail that we got to take that one down my brain just <laughs> farted <laughs> becomes harder and harder yeah then we are stuck yeah that tends to happen yes dead end so let's do this Let's make sure we're not dead end. So it's 70, 71. So we take care of that. 70, 71, 72, 73, 73. Oh, check this out. 73, 74, 75. I think we're so oh, let's see 75 76 77 78 so let's do this where are we at 71 is that where we end up 71 oh i see it oh i had a different route so let's see 71 72 73 74 75 so yeah let's do 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 and our only out is up here so 79 cool and we have an in and an out for that so should we should be able to take care of that quadrant as well that's super sweet so we just need to get in here or in there to push out. 99 max. Type it in. We have to sacrifice J2 or C10. Oh, do we? Oh, I don't see that, sorry. Do we J2? Okay, let's check it out. Let's, let's take care of this guy. 79. Here or there? 79. Well, the only choice for 79 out is up here. We got no choice on that one. So here's 80. Eighty. one. That's our only choice after 80, right? Yeah, no other place to go to. So that has to be 81. Now we've got two choices. G6, J6, G6. And then J6. Okay, let's do that. 82. We got 83 or 83 up there. No, we don't want to take this because that can feed into that. So 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Let's do it. Yeah. J10. Then go to H4. So J10. So let's check it out. No, you mean J9, I think. Then go to H4. J2. 
two. So J9, how do we get in there again? I lost it. Oh, J6 is what you meant. Yeah, J6. H4. Oh, what the hell? We can go straight down. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I'm looking at it sideways. I'm trying to go around. Oh, that's super easy. 83. 84 85 nice 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 83 84 85 sweet sweet nice 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 thanks for that gang awesome i almost took us down the wrong path turn me back turn me back I'm messing everything up. <laughs> I'm getting very competitive now. So we got 85. Now let's check it out. We got choice, we got choice. So let's try to see if we can go backwards, right? So 199. We got 98, 98, and 98. That's good. We've got a lot of choices for 98. What else we got? J8, G8, I10. J8, J8, G8. I like that. I10. So let's do this. So we got 86, 87, 88. Our only out is this. 89 oops 89 we got this 90 91 uh oh uh oh is that a good one wait no wait yes god i'm confusing myself <laughs> so we're gonna have a trouble here we got troubles here what comes in this there's only one thing that comes in this. What else would come in here if it was close by? 85 would come in here. And then we have an out. Otherwise, we only have this coming in and there's no out. So why don't we put 86 here? For real. What if we take 88 to I-16? 88. To I6. So 89 is gone. I6. Yeah, the problem we're having is this guy right now. So I think we have to take it all the way back. 87. 86. I think this has to be 86. Otherwise, we get stuck. Let's check it out. We got we need confirmation on this. My brain's getting no clue what's going on. <laughs> Here's a link, Billy. Here's a link to a playlist that we got together with all these videos on YouTube. And in the description of that playlist, there's a link to a blog post where we go through the rules and there's updates and there's programs that you can play the game on the computer, and there's a whole list of videos. Uh, that you can check out there's one video that gives you detailed instructions on this name of the game we've got a 10 by 10 grid 100 squares we're trying to go from number one to 100 using two different movement types yeah that's a good one let's see oh thanks for the 10 by 10 thing da, 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 da. you're amazing for writing that <laughs> okay j9 let's check it out Okay, so I think we agree 86 is probably best to do that. So J9, 87, and then we got G9, 88, and then I7, 89, 
G8, G8, no, not G8, it can't be G8, oops, did I miss it, I7, oh, I10, oh yeah, I10, nice, G8, nice, I'm assuming here, next, I6, I6, awesome, that's good. So what do we got? What do we got? 89, 90, 91, 92. Very sweet. Oh man, we're gonna get higher then. Haha, <laughs> thanks, glad it's helping out. Now brother, got to go now brother. I'll try and attend your next stream. Okay, thanks for popping by Cryptic. We're close, I think we're about to get to 97 or so. This was this was great. Have a great day, everyone. You too, brother. You too. <laughs> Hello. Kang, how are you doing? Welcome to 96. We're going to get it too. I see 97. You see 97? Let's check it out. 97 would be sweet. So 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. I see 96. 92. Let's see. Where are we? 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. Yeah? Let's check it out. I think I see 96 or 98. Someone's seeing 98. Move 92 to. Okay, so let's kick it back. So we're here to J8. Yeah, that's J8. 92. Our only choice is here, 93, our only choice is here, 94, our only choice is here, 95, our only choice is here, 96, and 97, oh, oh, 97, 98, 99, gang, oh my god, is that true? Let's check it out. Not sure. Wow. From here, we can only go to F6, which blocks off 100. Say, ah, uh, nine. Is that it? <laughs> Did we do it correctly? Okay, I'm going to put the numbers in so we don't get lost in the thing, right? So where were we? 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, we sacrificed this 97 oh man if we only had that one 98 99 99 99 sweet <laughs> you can count backwards from c10 it has to be the last square because you can't believe it i completely missed that one. Oh wow 99 spotted team we did well we did well gang awesome awesome so close but still nice congrats to all yeah for sure congrats to everyone 99 a sweet oh look at this look at this load load box all empty that's super cool though that's fantastic I was there alive. <laughs> all that all that pain and struggle, all the brain chaos was well worth it. 99, so satisfactory. So satisfactory. So close. So close. The quadrant method, very good. I think last year it was also the quadrant method where we ended up getting 99. I'm not sure. I can't remember. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was fantastic. That was super fun. Couple places. I'm over here. I'm glad we didn't try to fill out the square. Leave this one at 99, 100. Oh, that would have been too difficult. We almost got it, but that was good. Congrats, gang. Congrats. Crotchers got us 99 last time. Really? Okay. 
good to know so far this strategy is pretty good breaking it into quadrants we've gotten the most out of it so far awesome that's a great and i like the blue <laughs> right i think tomorrow's stream we'll do one more quadrant as well and i think we should do a roll with uh what tony was saying is it 100, 100 you mean? yeah 100 is possible there's solutions out there if you look into the uh the link that i provided where i go through the rules on my post on my blog post uh there's some solutions that people have provided and if you can get one solution you should be able to get four more or three more because it's mirrored right you should you could flip it rotate it, and stuff like this pretty sure yeah thank you malik for coming up with this yeah thank you malik someone else had mentioned this to me a, a while ago before we started live streaming in the comments of the original video that they did quadrants i might have posted it as a comment or it might have been a comment on the on the blog post or something but i never really tried it until last year when malik came here right it is but it takes a lot of time to find a perfect solution yeah it does it does i love the diagonals i love using diagonals a fair bit for this diagonals work beautifully for this guy and maybe who knows we start off here that wasn't bad actually that worked out well fantastic guy fantastic awesome so we're doing about one puzzle an hour right so we got two done today as well during this live stream fun 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 okay gang uh, i'm gonna say bye to everyone watching on the recorded uh thank you for being here thank you for participating thank huge thank you to the people participating in this in live stream we we're able to get the 99 that's our best score so far during the live streams i hope you enjoyed and uh, we're going to be doing more of the stuff on twitch uh, live streaming so if you're around fantastic pop by uh, i'm going to turn off the camcorder and uh, turn off the lapel mic but i'm going to stick around and we're going to chat for the live stream i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now